Memer Nation. I'm your host, Killer Meme Star Lag. Yeah, right into the news. Our first story today: a YouTuber of the name of Dumarachi has start has made a rant of me. That's right. So this this YouTuber, small time YouTuber, is made made a rant of me, and he made some really good points about why I am a terrible person. Also in the news, I can't take criticisms. That is right. I, the great and legendary gnome known as Keemstar, cannot take criticisms. If I get criticisms on Twitter, I will block you immediately. That is going to do it for today. Where we are at Drama Alert with now 12 subscribers. I'm a stupid gnome. How's it going, guys? Furry here. And today... <laughs> Pyrocynical isn't a furry. Uh... Christ. Now, lately on YouTube, there's been some more drama going around, and I wanted to talk about YouTube drama on my on Rantimus, but I realized that YouTube drama isn't going to affect me probably ever in my life, but I just wanted to say that... Um, I probably did have my own share of YouTube drama with, you know, Ross owner and with Felix and 2K14 Charu and You Won't Manai and all the other Ross owner haters. But it's not hu humongous, um, um, YouTube dramas. It's kind of more personal YouTube drama for other people, but, um, I'm not ever going to talk about YouTube drama because seriously, it's a dumb thing and we just need to get over it, alright? YouTube drama has been a humongous topic that basically has been surrounding every month now for all 2016 but it really begs the question who really did start all the YouTube drama the, the big ones and it is your lovable character Keemstar so let's get into this so how's it going everybody it's Dumarachi here and today we're gonna talk about meme star now if you don't know who Keemstar is Keemstar is a YouTube celebrity um, why well, I, I hate to use the word celebrity. Keemstar runs a show on YouTube called Drama Alert, and he reports the news on YouTube and Twitter about that surrounds around YouTubers or famous people on, on social media. Um, Keemstar has been going underneath a lot of flames, flames uh, recently with Pyrocynical and Leafy is here. Um, lately, he's been lately people have been making long videos about him, like 15 long vid minute videos about him, about like everything he's done wrong and. All the bad stuff he did. So some of these facts are some of these things I'm gonna say are pulled from Pyrocynical or in or Leafiest here videos. But Keemstar starts drama. He basically makes sure people know that there's drama going on. That's why it's called drama alert. But it's it's really terrible. My camera just fell down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch me just drop my camera. It really is pretty funny. But anyways, back to the cancer known as Keemstar. I hate I hate Keemstar a lot. I truly do not like Keemstar. Um, of course, I subscribe to Drama Alert because I love seeing what's going on during YouTube. But Keemstar is a rat. He's a gnome. All right. Um, Keemstar had a terrible past on YouTube. He did trolling videos where he just basically was a nuisance in online and I seen some of the trolling videos and really they're the worst trolling videos I've ever seen. Um Keemstar has had a really racial past. Excuse me. Keemstar used to flame on black people a lot. Um if you look up Keemstar black people you're gonna see a lot of things about him and black people. Alright it's it's really it's it's really weird to see all that junk that Keemstar has said about black people. Trust me, if you ever if you watch one video about Keemstar and black people, you will be surprised. And one thing that Keemstar does is that he um, threatens people. All right, and that is really strange coming on a man who owns a news channel. 
because if you're gonna run a news channel, you're supposed to say as neutral as you can. You can't join a side. Like if you go, if you go on, on, if you go watch, watch, watch a news station like your local news, and they're like they talk about like I don't know like like a certain fight that's going on in the city, like or or like election. Let's call it election in your in your city. Let's say that there's a there's a mayor election. All right, the news stays neutral about about who they choose. All right. But the the ironic the, the ironic thing is that C, uh, CNN they're really going against Donald Trump, which <laughs> is really sad. But I'm not talking about CNN. I'm talking about Keemstar. Wow, what happened? But Keemstar is not neutral. He always takes a side, and then he threatens another person, and he threatens a lot of people. Um, basically, if people just make exposing videos of him. Um, Hugo, like, let's say, like, a, a famous YouTuber. Lately, um, a YouTuber named of Colossal is Crazy was gonna make a video about Keemstar, but Keemstar on on Twitter replied to him that he's gonna dox him. He's gonna dox um, Colossal Crazy. If you don't know what doxing is, basically doxing is re revealing personal inf information, like their real name, their face, where they, where they live, what, what's their phone number, email, and all that stuff. And... That is against the law. It's illegal to do that. You can't, you can't do it online. But Keemstar doesn't care because he thinks that because he has, he has a lot of subscribers on YouTube. Basically, makes him above the law, which it doesn't. He does. He can't do that. It's extremely sad to see that that stuff come out, Keemstar. But I digress. Um, Keemstar is also a hypocrite because. He says that that there's a golden rule on YouTube, and you can't basically um, you can't like reveal personal information, and, like personal information, like can't reveal uh, private DMs, private Skype calls, and all that stuff. But Keemstar reveals those things constantly to expose other people. Like Keemstar it ha is having a big thing with Pyrocynical lately, and he Keemstar exposed Pyrocynical's face because. Even though it's private photos of, of Pyrocynical. That's right, Pyrocynical's face is on the internet now. So, you know, you can find his face if you look up Pyrocynical face reveal. But thanks to Keemstar, Pyrocynical doesn't need to do a face reveal because now everybody who can look it up will find it. And Keemstar says that it's not revealing personal information because it's already on the internet. Even though P Keemstar found Pyrocynical's personal Facebook page and, uh, and found pictures of him and revealed it on the internet. And yes, that in some way that is not um, going through personal things because it's already on the internet. But if no one else knows I was there, you're still exposing it to one mil your one million followers. And even if you still had one follower, it's still um, it's still um, invasion of privacy. All right. If, if you can put it on the internet, it's all, it's out there. All right. Even if you delete it, it's still out there. Somehow it's still out there. So you can't just get rid of something. Like you can't, like you, you can't just, like if you're a famous YouTuber, I don't think you can just make a tweet and say, oh, I want to get, I want to get rid of that now. People probably say pictures of it, retweet it, so other people see, see it. So basically, if it's on the internet, it's there forever. All right, you learned about this in your computer class. I bet you have. It gets me really mad when Keemstar does stuff. It, I know I'm not going to do anything about it. He's probably never going to watch this video, but still, the word has to get out there that. Keemstar is a terrible person. All right, I I once made a video about Keemstar, but I but I just deleted it because when the video was was ready to be uploaded, Keemstar made a video saying he was, he was quitting Drama Alert. So I'm thinking, oh, I guess I don't need to make the video anymore because he's not on Drama Alert anymore. Thank God. But the thing is that now Keemstar, he's back on Drama Alert. He didn't quit at all. He deleted the video and he's still reporting the news because he just he just needed to clear his head. It's a pain, all right? Now, I want to wrap this up with saying one last thing. I don't have that big of a problem with Keemstar. I don't. But I just hate how Keemstar is a hypocrite and he man uh, manipulates people. He's just a terrible person online. I'm sure in real life, he's a fine person, all right? He's probably, probably just a nice guy. But that's my problem with him. That online, he's an asshole, right? P when you get like subscribers online it changes you a lot all right 
a lot of people online do not like Keemstar. Like, a lot of people. Even he, he manipulates. He's a, he's a hypocrite. He's just overall a terrible person. That's all I really want to say about him. He's a, he's a really bad guy. Alright? So that's basically it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the new thumbnails. These are how the thumbnails going to look from now on. Um, I now learned a little bit more about my editing software that I use so I can get better looking images for you guys. So it's not just PNGs in backgrounds. Um, that's really how I did it, but now I know how to you know, cut images and put them for thumbnails. So. I did it! Yay! <laughs> I'm now better at this stuff, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Also, if you want to if you, if you see news on YouTube that's not run by a gnome or a rat, go watch Scares. His link will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good... I think Keemstar is a stupid gnome.